Hey everybody, I'm Rockin' Robbie Billups. And I'm John Hammertime Holshue. And we are the Pop Culture Philosophers. Tonight, we're going to be listing our top five favorite alien invasion movies. Act that! Act that! Number five is 1953's War of the Worlds from Paramount Studios, directed by Byron Haskin and starring Gene Barry and Anne Robinson. It is, of course, based on the H.G. Wells 1897 classic War of the Worlds, a fantastic piece of literature that Orson Welles, of course, adapted into a radio drama that caused a lot of mass panic up around Pennsylvania or so, I believe. It's a great movie, had some fantastic special effects of the time. It's set in Southern California. The original book is set in Victorian New England, but it changes some things. It adds some new characters, but it's basically the same. The ending is really cool where what stops the aliens is that they are not adapted to the bacteria, the microbes on earth, and they start slowly dying from disease, and that ends the invasion. The aliens are in flying saucers because that is just kind of what was in the time. They're not on the tripods. Of course, Steven Spielberg remade this film with Tom Cruise. I like War of the Worlds, especially the original. The ending is great. It's reminiscent of Signs, I'm going to say, except for I, I, I'm more likely to believe that microbes and bacteria are a little bit more hard, a little bit more hard to, I don't know, anticipate than a whole planet full of water. I, I enjoyed Signs, and if I had my, my way, it would have made the top five. But he but didn't have his way. I didn't have my way. Uh, but I do love World of Worlds. It's a classic. It is a classic. Number four is Mars Attacks, directed by Tim Burton in 96. This film was written by Jonathan Gems. It was, of course, based on the card series uh, in the 60s, 1962, actually, by Topps. Love this card series. Love this movie. Love the style. All-star cast, uh, Sarah Jessica Parker, Jack Nicholson, uh, Pierce Brosnan. There's so many people, I can't even Glenn Close. It's just chock full of stars. And it's got a very uh, 50s, early 60s style, well, obviously based on the cards. Tim Burton brought this style to life in only way Tim Burton can. It was stylish. It was campy. It was fun. I love the fact that they, you know what? Let's, they've come in peace. Let's give them a chance. With that look on their face... <laughs> but I think it's a classic, and if you like the card series, you like that style, they did a great job transitioning the film. I think it's a super fun film. I remember when it came out. I think it's clever. I think it's witty. I think it's kind of dumb, but I kind of like it because it's so dumb. Classic film. Number three is 1988's Masterpiece by John Carpenter. They Live. Written by John Carpenter as well, but under the name Frank Armitage. Very weird, very weird. Uh, it starred, of course, the wrestler, famous wrestler, Rowdy Roddy Piper, and a great actor in, in and of himself, Keith David. Oh, yeah. Great movie. I love it. It's super cheesy. It's bad, but we love it. Is it an alien invasion film? Absolutely it is. The aliens have already invaded. They're there. They're around us. The glasses, the giant fight scene, the silly dialogue... I, I, I love this movie. It's so fun. And it actually does say a lot about life. Check out, of course, our PCP movie night that we did. Oh, sadly, yeah. we on the live. weekend that Mr. Piper passed away. It's a fun film. And today, still this day, I can watch that fight. And that fight's like, <laughs> it'd be like 30 minutes long, that yeah. fight. It's brutal, too. It's the whole second act. Yeah. Number two is Independence Day. The 1996 film directed by Roland Emmerich. This was written by Emmerich and Dean Devlin, and this was just, this was the big blockbuster summer film of 96, and this was a blockbuster. This was an epic summer film, and it was just uh, the special effects, a great, another great cast, and talk about two Mars invasion, or attack, or sorry, invasion films in 96. You had Independence Day, and then like we talked about Mars attacks later in the year, but Independence Day stole the show, for sure. And just that epic poster and the epic scene with the, uh, the UFO blowing up the White House. Bill Pullman playing the president. I would vote for him, right? I will say at that time, it's not a UFO. It is identified. Oh, yeah, it's definitely an alien ship. And then you got uh, the lead as uh, Will Smith as the pilot. His co-pilot... Jeff Goldblum. Jeff, well, I was going to say his co-pilot. I was going to say uh, Harry Cotton Jr. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Great pianist. I also an actor, but I knew him as a pianist at the time. I'm like, why is this pianist <laughs> fighting aliens? Um, there's, it's also got a great cast. We're leaving people out. Vivica A. Fox. It has a phenomenal cast. It was just such an epic film. And by 96, I mean, CG has improved. 
There's a lot of practical effects too, but the special effects phenomenal. Phenomenal I, effects. I really like Independence Day. It's a fun popcorn flick. Bill Pullman as the president. I love his speech. My other favorite moment when the guys are up there ready, like aliens take us home, we love you, and they get blown away. I kind of like that. Number one is Invasion of the Body Snatchers, the 1956 classic starring Kevin McCarthy, Dana Winter, and Larry Gates. It was directed by Don Siegel and based on The Body Snatchers by Jack Finney. It's a great movie. I love this movie. We picked this movie at number one because it has been remade so many times. It has inspired so many just absolute rip-offs. And in the other films, the aliens are alien-like. They're in Flying Saucer, The Martians from Mars Attacks, The Giant Ships from Independence Day. They Live might be slightly different, actually. But once you put those on, you can see them. So similar to They Live, but you don't know who the bad guys are. It could be your neighbor. It could be your friend. It could be anybody. The paranoia that is induced in this movie, and it's very, very cool and suspenseful, and it's really good for its time. I love this movie. Just recently rewatched it. I think it holds up. What do you think, John? I think it's a classic. It's a great film. Like you said, they remade it multiple times. You have The Body Snatchers. You have Invasion. You've had movies that were inspired by it, like They Live. Um, and even it introduced us to the coin, or the term, uh, pod people. Oh, really? yeah, pod it people. It gave us that. A whole subgenre of, of horror sci-fi film, actually, yeah. to be honest with you. Kind Who of can you trust? Up. I would say The Thing, too. A lot of movies took from this, or a lot of uh, yeah. fiction, I'd say, uh, shows, comic books, drew heavily from, from, from this film. We think Invasion of the Body Snatchers just tops them all. There's a lot of cool invasion movies out there, and there's actually a lot of not good ones. In fact, some of the movies on our list may not be the best movies, but they are the best alien invasion movies, in our opinion. And we'll defend that. So thank you for watching. Please do subscribe, like, and share this video. Check us out at popculturephilosophers.com for podcasts and a whole lot more. And be sure to subscribe to our podcast on iTunes and Android and other kind of services. We uh, always appreciate you guys checking out these videos. Let us know some ideas for top fives down below. And let us know what are your favorite alien invasion films. I've been Rockin' Robbie Billups. Unless you're a pod person. And I've been John Hammer Time Holshoe. Unless I'm a pod person. Even if you're a pod person. Are they pe pod people? I think pod people are people too. We're PCP pod people. Catch you on the next video.